No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry. I'm just feeling. The sun feels good. What? Nothing. All right, every day moments come up, feelings, sensations, the instrument of the self felt in relation. That's the gift of experience. It's happening always, right now. I can feel it. I've felt this before many times. It started when I was young. Before I knew myself, I knew this feeling. The self had always changed. I was always picking up pieces and dropping them. But this feeling never changed. It's an eternal truth, the lived, felt presence of experience. Now as I go in life, I oscillate through phases and then this moment comes and it wakes me up. And I realize <clears throat> the autonomous the loops, the echo response, the reverberations, the spirit living through you, through me. Picking up the languages and the symbolics and, and the established um, ideas, feeling the truths and the falsehoods of what those are through your own experiences. Learning that your hubris is nemesis, but it's your best friend. Learning to see with different eyes. Bringing the self from out there within, breathing in and out of what that is. Your awareness always ebbing and flowing. The world talking to you through you. The flow of our principles through convictions. And what that is for the persona in relation to existence and the roles you play and how you express your spirit. So going through life, you pick up themes, you hear melodies in life, you feel the melodies of life and they uh, come to you through the mind's patterns. Static, slower fading statics in this ever reflecting dynamic. The brilliance, you can't stare at it, blinds you. And we hold that icon within ourselves, afraid to hold or stare into the brilliance of the self because we don't have a language for it in the world. And we're learning it as we go.
and then the birds come and they sing. <laughs> and it pulls you out of that and you're just living again. So life's always happening. Sometimes we're happening in digestive ways, which seem regressive because you have to shrink to what is true. And then progressive ways where we're building up, blowing up, expanding, moving, doing, changing, being. We're always being. Sometimes we are the being and sometimes we're the being, being. And sometimes it's a doing and all sorts of other things. Hmm. So imagine life is like this big desert. It's a beautiful desert. You have everything you need, but nothing truly nourishes what's most valuable, what's going to get you across the desert, which is the spirit. So you're consuming all this stuff, trying to um, dissolve what it is so you can get the nutrition you need. And you are neglected by um, your own delusions because you are wrapped up in an illusion. So you are denied the things that are actually most valuable for you and you are given the things which pull you further away from your own truth. And you follow the mirage, but the there's this oasis that's within you. When you come to the waters of the self, you know how much you can give because you don't want to feed the hungry ghost of the world. You want it to feed itself and learn its own self. And you are in reciprocity with existence. And we're collectively caught in each other's wake. We're in the epigenetics of large cycle things. We can call it karmas, dharmas, whatevers. But if you are true to yourself, if you can find that oasis, then you are reflecting for the world to reciprocate. The truth will nourish you then. Whatever that is, you don't, it's probably can't name it until you've lived it or feel it, know it. Now, I don't know, there's probably many ways to get to this oasis. Meditation, yoga, physical, exercise, hiking, camping, dancing, moving, painting, creative stuff, building something, expressing something creating something, healing something. There's all these ways. The only way I know is to find the most simple, most base, foundational, fundamental thing and start from that.
But uh, since I'm in this hermetic thing, these cycles, I can feel that the reciprocity of the self is uh, part of maturation into reality to distinguish yourself within it. Not as something different, but as the change, the progression. To do it uh, semi-consciously is an art. If you can find that, that's probably, well, feels to me like that would be quite an achievement for life. Everyone has their own destiny, their own path. You can't walk it for others. You gotta walk it for yourself. Then others resonate with it because it was a true authentic expression. Just like reality shows us. The same brings same. But time always brings change. It's just in the acceptance of the moment. So how do you find that here now? Feel the sun in the moment. You have an understanding of how to do it. To find the will to do it. To remember it. To realize it, to hold it. That is a gift. <laughs>